Welcome to Jables Outdoors. We're out at the ice hut today, guys, with uh, Bailey and the three dogs. We've got Sophie, Bronson, and Tony. Tony's sleeping by the fire, nice warm spot. Anyways, I'm going to do a quick little uh, opening up and review of these uh, Kori RV and Marine LED double dome light fixtures. Picked them up on Amazon, I believe it was two for 30 bucks, free shipping. Uh, anyways, this is the package that comes in outside of the box. And uh, it says that there's no polarity on them, so you can just, uh, yeah, it says easy to install two wires without polarity new design. Look pretty neat. Okay, guys, I'm going to open this thing up. I kind of went ahead and installed one already, you can see up here. Um, just to make sure it worked before I did one of these videos. Maybe I'll show you. There's a single, off, and double. And in this little hut, it's pretty bright, but I still want another light above the door. All right, so uh, the first thing that you have to do is you have to pop these lens covers off to get this plastic wrap off because it is kind of buried inside the, uh, see right here, there's a little tab. It's kind of clear. Just gonna push that without breaking it, hopefully. There's one. There's two. I'm just going to leave these off for the install because all the screw holes are hidden underneath that cover. And you're going to want to use them to mount it. So during this time I'll wait until, uh, until they're installed on the ceiling before I put those covers back on. So we're just going to put them aside for now. And they actually come with uh, barrettes and screws. Pretty little handy, handy little dandies. You can see a little bin of ice hut okutramas. Keep an eye on those lines. Now I'm going to use this wire that I also got on Amazon. I don't think there's any labeling. No, I think it's 16 gauge. And again, these said no polarity, so it does not matter. You don't have to be conscious whether you're uh, going positive to negative or not. I'm just going to twist them and tape them. Hang tight and I'll show you once this is done. Okay, so I got the wires all twisted together and taped up. I'm going to stick these up on the ceiling. I'm going to put this one a little bit more in the center of the room. One. So you really don't want to over tighten these. Uh, this plastic feels like it probably would be fairly brittle. So I just tighten the screws up until they make contact and call that good. In a second, I'll show you what I have powering these lights for my setup. Measure roughly what I'm gonna need for wire. All right, so I got this uh, all twisted up. I kept my red to red, black to black. And again, these lights have no polarity. So I'm gonna test them, make sure that they work. There's two lights on, two lights on, look at that. So you can see these are pretty bright. Uh, I'll show you a nighttime video of uh, how much difference they make in the hut. And uh, you can be your own judge, I guess. Pretty, uh, pretty fancy little LED lights. Good. Time to put the covers back on. So you can just squeeze these uh, from the front to reinstall them or to remove them. Actually, I just found that out. Um, you don't need to get a screwdriver from the back. You kind of just give them a little squeeze and away we go again. It's a little bit slippery, but there you get the idea. Wonderful. Used my spare motorcycle battery and I got this fancy dancy solar charge controller. And if you can see on the right hand side there, top right, I've got some USB chargers and Cam is out here fishing with us and his phone's dead. So we're about to plug this in for the very first time. Well, looks like I need a piece of wood behind that to hold it better. And it works. And it's working. Let me see. Look at that. Red light's on. It's charging. Polish Pride background right on. Cool, man. Things you could do with a moped battery, eh? <laughs> Alright, so I told you guys that I'd show you these lights at nighttime. Take a peek outside. 
It's fairly dark. It's what time is it? About 5.30 or so. Anyways, here's one light in the hut. That's with one. That's with two. Here's one more. Check that out. So there we go. We're fully lit. It's pretty well daytime in here. Just perfect for uh, fishing with the boys if you're doing an overnighter or what have you, or RV, or maybe even in the back of your, in the cap of your truck if you wanted. Anyways, thanks for watching Jables Outdoors. Stick around for more, uh, more outdoors reviews and fishing and sports. Cheers.